Hi folks, this is Tony from iForm Builder. Today I'd like to share something from the R&D department with you and gather some feedback. This is the annotation widget which has been widely requested um, across the user base and we feel that it's uh, at a point now where we can share this with you and get some feedback. Um, so I've created a very simple injury report form here and the idea being that um, you know on a college campus you have a bunch of student athletes and we might need to create an injury report for any various number of reasons. Um, so very simple form, type in the student's name, get them the medications and known allergies back using smart table search, and then we have this injury diagram field down below. And this is simply the drawing element, which has been uh, redesigned in this test build I'm showing you uh, to support this annotation widget we've put together. So let's start down here at the bottom. Um, the first icon is camera input, so we can you know, take, uh, take a picture with a device camera to use it as our underlying image. My computer screen is not so helpful for this demonstration, so I'm going to cancel out of that. The next icon allows you to choose from your um, photo roll on the device, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and select this, um, this person diagram and use it as my background image. Now you can also select another image or additional images and use it as a floating image. And so you won't be able to see it since it's the same one, but I can move this around. And you can see this is actually two images. So it's a floating image on top of a background image. Um, since I don't really care for that, I'm actually going to hit this button in the bottom right hand corner for undo. And you can see that just jumps over. Now I only have one image. And now that I don't have a floating image, I'm actually drawing on my person. <laughs> so I'll undo that as well. Um, the next button on the, the bottom here, starting from the left, looks like a little grid. This actually has some predefined images that you can add to your drawing. And so in this case, um, I'm not sure that any of these images really apply for our injury report, but I could select this red X and you know, let's just say it was my shoulder that was injured. And maybe that's the way that you want to mark it up rather than using a pen. So you have that option as well and you can move these, move these around. They're simply just images that can be drag and drop all over the place. Now, since I really don't want this, I'm gonna actually undo this as well. And the next icon in is the little uh, pencil pointing up. And this allows us to change the color of the pencil, the size of it, and then the opacity of the, you know, those lines that we're going to be drawing. And you can select from either one of these four predefined colors or use the, you know, use the color wheel on the right here to, to define your own color. And so we'll go ahead and just choose red. And since I was playing baseball and got hit in the ear, I now have an ear injury, which we're going to go ahead and circle. Um, so that's, you know, that's pretty straightforward. Everybody has seen, you know, the ability to draw with their finger and, um, that's, that's pretty intuitive. The next button in is this text button and likewise, we can also change the color of our text as well as the size of it, um, for whatever, you know, whatever size we think is necessary, font type. Um, so I'll use this bold font and say that, um, Tony was hit in the head with a baseball. He has a concussion. So that's pretty cool. We can use Siri to uh, add a text note here and say done. Once we've added the text, I can drag and drop this just like our images if I want it at the top or the bottom. You know, it doesn't really matter. You also saw the ability to do a timestamp in here. So we can do a timestamp and add that to our photo as well, which is pretty nifty. And then this, uh, this final button right next to the text icon is just allowing us to change how the marker or the pen is, is creating the line or the shapes. And so you can see this first one in is simply pen or pencil, and then you have an eraser. So I can erase this red line if I didn't, you know, didn't like the way that was drawn. And just simply wipe that away. And then uh, you know, we have this line here. So this is drawing you know, straight line versus following my finger might be helpful since I can't draw very <laughs> draw in straight line very well. You have a solid square which can be created. You can have an open square. And keep in mind that um, right now everything's in red, but I could certainly change that color as well. If I wanted to do green and then redraw the same square, I can do that. Pretty cool. So a circle, open circle, and then you have your triangles. So Pretty straightforward, and we're going to go ahead and wipe these out since they're not applicable. And uh, I still do have an ear slash ear injury slash concussion, so we'll go back and um, 
circle my ear. That was nature. Oops. You can see I'm still using the triangle, and that's actually indicated down here in the bottom. You can see I'm on the triangle symbol. So what I need to do is hit back, click on this, and then switch back over to my pen. And now I can circle my ear. Pretty cool, huh? All right. So um, I hope you enjoy, and we look forward to hearing some comments from you. And uh, please leave your feedback underneath the video or, or under this post. And um, we're really looking forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Have a great day.